you doing? I'm back here again for our video, and in this video I'm going to be continuing showing off my complete horror movie collection, and in this video I'm showing off my complete horror Blu-ray collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to start up right here with my Halloween shelf. First we have Halloween, the complete collection, 15 disc deluxe edition. Then we have the Halloween, this is the German media book that comes with the Blu-ray, DVD, and the soundtrack on CD. Then we have the UK Steelbook. Then we have another German media book, except this just comes with the Blu-ray and the DVD. Over here we have the Halloween 2. This is the lenticular metal pack. And then up here we have Fallen DVD. Uh, we have the uh, single di single Blu-ray of the producer's cut of Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Right. Moved on down to my Scream Factory shelf. First right here we have the Amityville Horror Trilogy. Then we have the Autopsy of Jando. Black Christmas. Sorry it's a little bit dark. The Burning. Carrie. Death Valley. Escape from New York, The Fun House, Hell Knight, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Misery, Moto Hell, Night of the Demons, Prince of Darkness, The People Under the Stairs. Oh, that was falling over. Hold on one sec. We have uh, the Return of the Living Dead right there. And let me try to move those. There we go. If they're not falling. We have Slither, and of course, Return of the Living Dead falls anyway. And that'll, of course, fall. Sleepaway Camp. The town that dried the sun down. And I'm just going to lay those down there. One of the problems about pulling movies out is, you know, keep falling and stuff like that. I always have that problem. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of other people do as well. But then we have The Thing. Then we have the double feature of Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. We have Terror Train. We have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Let me set that down. Like I said, I'm sure, and of course that falls down. I'm just going to go and lay these down. I know everybody, whenever people are doing videos, they always have a problem with movies falling down. I do all the time. But anyway, we have The Fog, the limited edition steelbook. And then we have Ravenous. Um, now, even though this is the... Uh, the DVD, it does have the Screen Factory Blu-ray. Um, this was given to me from uh, one of my uh, former co-workers, Justin, who I've talked about multiple times in my videos. And, you know, if he, uh, if he ended up losing a case or something like that, he would always just find another case for a movie. So um, when he gave this to me, you know, it, like I said, um, even though this is the uh, DVD, um, uh, DVD case, uh, there is, the Screen Factory Blu-ray is in there, so... Moving on over here to my Chucky shelf. We have Chucky the Complete Collection Limited Edition Blu-ray set. Then we have the Collector's Edition from Screen Factory of the original Child's Play. And we have Cult of Chucky with the Lenticular Slipcover. Moving on down to my Evil Dead shelf. We have the limited edition steelbook. Then we have the single release of Evil Dead 2. Then we have the Scream Factory release of Army of Darkness. Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1. And Season 2. Up next we have the Phantasm Collection. 
really amazing set. Then we have The Exorcist. This is the 40th anniversary edition set that comes with both cuts of the film as well as a book um, that just talks about the making of the film. We have the Friday 13th, the 8 film collection. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. Then we have the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, 7 film collection. We have the Flatliners Steelbook. Then we have the Wolfman Steelbook. And then we have Francis Ford Coppola's um, version of Dracula in the uh, Supreme Cinema series. Uh, I guess you would call these media books or digi books. And then we have It Follows, the Blu ray Steelbook. Alright. Moving on down here. We have An American Werewolf in London. We have A Haunting Twilight of Evil, which are, you know, it's a pretty entertaining show. We have A Bay of Blood. American Psycho. A Cure for Wellness. Let me try to get out of the light. Bone Tomahawk. The Blair Wish Project. The Birds. The Butterfly Effect 1 and 2, The Collector, Cloverfield, Clown, the new limited edition of The Changeling, Stephen King's Cat's Eye, Crimson Peak, which I've heard is getting an Arrow video release, The Devil's Rejects, Dead Snow, Dracula, and Frankenstein, and these are both in those glow-in-the-dark slip covers that Walmart had one year, a couple years back. Carrie the Remake, Dark Man, The Fly the Original, and the Remake with the cards on the front that once again Walmart had. From Hell, which again has that collector's card on the front. Just a single release of Flatliners. Final Destination. Frailty. The Good Son. Green Room. Get Out. Hostel 1 and 2. The Haunting in Connecticut. Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, The Haunted World of El's Super Bisto, Rob Zombie, It, Idle Hands, Insidious Chapter 2, Jacob's Ladder, Jack Frost, Krampus, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, again with the card. Let Me In, The Lost Boys, The Last House on the Left, Maniac, Martha Marcy May Marlene, Night Watch, Night Living Dead, this is the, uh, I forget what, what where it is blu rays from, but another gift from my former co-worker Justin, 976 Evil, Orphan, One Hour Photo, Phantasm Remastered, Psycho with it's a pretty cool slip. This was probably one of the, my favorite slip covers out of this series. This one in American Graffiti and a, another one. I can't remember what the other one was I really liked, but this, I think, in my opinion, was the best one that saw these at Walmart and Target. Puppet Master, Pet Cemetery. The Predator Triple Feature, The Purge, Purge Anarchy, The Right, Sleepy Hollow, Suspiria, Salem's Lot, The Shining, The Shallows, Straw Dogs, Straw Dogs Remake, 
The Raven. Trick or Treat, which is getting a Scream Factory release. Double feature of 13 Ghosts and House of Wax. 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later. Moving on. The Unborn. Vertigo. The Woman in Black. Wrong Turn 3. We Are Still Here. Sorry. When a Stranger Calls and Happy Birthday to Me. Double Feature. The Witch. And Wind River. Then we have my two Vestron Collector Series releases. Return of Living Dead 3 and Parents. And moving on. This is my era video shelf. I have the Hills of Eyes. Then I have the Reanimator Steelbook and the Hellraiser Steelbook. Children of the Corn. Brain Damage. And Creepshow 2. And down right here on my Criterion shelf, I have Dress to Kill. Don't Look Now. And Night of the Living Dead. Alright guys. Well, that is it. That is my complete horror Blu-ray collection as of right now. I know that there's a lot of other movies that I still need to get or still want to get, but um, this is my collection as of right now. So thank you all so much for watching. Now I know that uh, you know a lot of you guys who have been subscribed to me for a while, you guys have already seen my collection because I've done multiple videos, you know, showing off my complete collection. And I know that sometimes you know I don't get new stuff into the collection, and so there's some things that. So sometimes a lot of these videos are, are just me showing the same movies, but you know I figured for any of my new subscribers, you know who haven't seen my older videos, they can check these videos out and just show they can see where my collection is. Plus, I also know that a lot of you guys still enjoy seeing my collection. You know, I know a lot of you guys love seeing all the you know movies I got. You know, all my horror movies. So just want to say thank you all so much for watching. Um, sorry that it was a little bit dark, you know, and also sorry that some of my movies got fallen over. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys that do YouTube, it seems like whenever we try to do a video and we try to pull out movies from the shelf, they always end up falling over or something like that happens. So, you know, I, need, I know you guys know my pain, but anyway guys, thanks everyone for watching. My next video might be my update because I do have uh, some pretty cool stuff to show off. And so I want to go ahead and get that done before the end of September. So my next video will probably be my new Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS update. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links will be down below. And if you guys want to join my movie collecting Facebook group, a link will be down below in the description box for that as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope everyone has a great Sunday.